Hi there, it's Lou here, That Yacht Girl, and today I am doing what might be the saddest boat walkthrough video I'll ever do. This gorgeous boat that I'm sitting on right now is an MJM 43Z, and she is about to become my new listing. She's available on the market, and the reason that that is a sad day and not a ridiculously happy day, which it should be for any person involved in yacht brokerage, is that I've spent many, many hours on this boat. There's a backstory here. So let me share that with you. I was introduced to the owners of this boat by the owner of MJM Yachts. And he suggested that I give the owners a hand collecting this boat out of the factory in Boston at Boston Boat Works and planning a trip with them down the East Coast to Charleston in South Carolina as her maiden voyage. So we met back then via a Zoom call. It was still on the tail end of the worst of COVID. So we met via a Zoom call and got along famously and I did an amazing trip with them. We, we picked up the boat in Boston, provisioned it, we set off, we did New England, we went down around through to Martha's Vineyard, to Newport, Block Island, the Hamptons, down and up the Delaware and Chesapeake, Canal, uh, Chesapeake Bays. And from there came down the ICW um, and did an amazing trip down there. So that was an absolute blast and in the process I became great friends with the owners as well. So I have done many other trips on this boat. And while I've always been an MJM fan, uh, having spent some time on one of the early 40Zs, I have absolutely fallen in love with this boat, Ohana. So Ohana is going to be a very sad walkthrough for me because it sounds like it's the end of an era and we'll be saying goodbye to her very, very soon. So please join me for the rest of the walkthrough video on the MJM 43Z Ohana. So while I have the camera here on the dock, let's start with the outside of the MJM 43Z. I've always been a big fan of MJMs, I'm not gonna lie. I love the Down East style. I think it's very classic, really elegant. And of course, with the hull designed by Zern Design, Doug Zern. These boats perform beautifully and I've got a few stories up my sleeve to testify to that. Ohana is in the navy blue. It's a French navy, a really deep blue and it just looks stunning. The owners have also optioned Ohana with the extended Bimini. Now this can fold away, however we've left that up for cruising and leave it up most of the time. I agree with the owners that I think it really extends the roof line of the boat and gives it a really nice extra sort of elongated style. Now that we're down at the business end of the boat, you can see as opposed to the early 40Zs, which I spent a bit of time on and I love those as well, this boat has triple 300 Mercuries on the back. Now the benefits there of course are a shallower draft, easier maintenance, and it's certainly easier navigation when you're hitting the ICW or coming into shallow bays. To make the maintenance even easier on this example, over the far side there, there is a reverso flush system plug. So that is really, really great for being able to flush out these engines very, very easily when you come back onto the dock. So as you step onto Ohana into the rear cockpit, You'll notice that she has boarding doors on both sides. So whichever side the dock happens to be on, you've got really easy access. There's very comfortable seating back here with a plug for the table. So you can use the table from either the inside area, bring that out here or swap it around. There's also an easy access door to the aft platform of the boat as well, to the swim platform. So your access to that reverso plug or just generally for coming on and off, going for a swim is super easy. There's storage here underneath the seat, which we've used on Ohana for the fenders. And beneath me here are the hatches that lead into the Seakeeper, also to the Westerbeek generator, 
And this large hatch here at the rear takes you down into what would be the engine space. And of course, on Ohana, because of those triple outboards, you've got a huge storage area. If you've watched any of my videos, you'll know I do go nuts over good storage on a boat. So I love that. And of course, under the forward seats, the seats that are facing back towards me here, there's more lockers there as well. I think this boat has an immense amount of storage for a boat this size. So wherever you're heading, if you're doing extended cruising with a couple, it's a great size boat and gives you plenty of room for spares and other requirements. So before I head to the interior of the boat, I thought I would pop up onto the bow. It's turned into a gorgeous day here in Charleston. What a great view. Now we're right up the bow here and you'll see we've obviously got this stainless steel rail which makes access up here nice and secure. We've got the spotlight, your stainless steel anchor and windlass. And lots of hatches there which give the interior a nice light feel. And as we come back around you'll see the triple windshields on the MJM43 which are all electronically actuated. So with those electronic windshields, we've found them immensely useful coming on and off the dock with Ohana. While there's often one person on the bow ready with the dock line, we can open those up and communicate freely between the helming position and the, the foredeck of the boat. It's also nice on the occasional gorgeous day out to just open those up and have all that fresh air flowing through the interior of the boat. As you'll also see here on the roof of the boat, we've got the radar, We've got the TV antenna, the twin radio antennas, and also the air horns. Walking back from the bow, you've got that nice stainless steel rail off to the side, but as you reach the pilot house, you've got grab rails on the top of that and also on the sides as well. So your access is easy and you do feel nice and secure. With the camera turned around now, you can see the aft facing seats which both have lockers underneath them. We've got all the cleaning gear over this side, hoses, etc., over here, and also the plugs for the reverso system or the buttons for the reverso system. Now the back of the pilot house on the MJM is all strata glass here, including that roll up door. It's amazing the sound difference that makes when that is rolled down when you're underway as well. And on this side, I've actually left up for this walkthrough, these blinds. Now we've got those blinds that cover all of the interior of the wheelhouse here. So all of that can be closed off. It keeps a lot of heat and sunlight out and also gives you a bit of privacy if you're on the dock at night as well. And in this area, this is where a lot of the entertaining takes place. You've got a settee there on the port side, co-pilot's chair there with plenty of space forward of that, including drink holders. There's a nice little footrest there and space for log books, etc. That is the first of the two televisions and this folds down from the ceiling. And while we're here in this area, let's talk about storage again, one of my favorite topics. Obviously, we've got drawers both sides here, which is super handy for some charts and also covers for the instruments and things like that. This is hatch here is actually through to the fuel tanks and you've got the shutoff valves there. And there are lockers under both sides. Now, these lockers are enormous. I will drop a photograph of those over the video now so you can see what's going on in there. Obviously there's some mechanical space in there um, and a few bits and pieces going on, but there is so much storage in here. It's a great place to keep the extra cushions for that second double bed and bedding as well and plenty of space for life jackets. So while I'm here at the helm, I thought I might start with just simply showing you how this television folds up. So that goes like that and we've got two little safety clips. And hey presto, that's out of the way. So with that, it gives you nice easy access to the interior. The hatch here has a strut so that can be held up 
And of course, this all folds down and there's a sliding door here, which highlights some of the gorgeous woodwork that's on this boat as well. Behind me, we have your helm station. And of course, with the triple Mercury, you've got your joystick control right here. It has Skyhook and it also has the bow thruster. And that has been very handy at time to time, coming into some tricky docks, when you've got strong winds, situations like that. We've got the auto Electra tabs here, searchlight, some of the switches, and a nice big Raymarine, plus also the Mercury screen. So we're now down in the interior of the yacht. And to begin with, on the starboard side, directly below the helm is your switch panel. And behind here is access to all of the instruments as well. So should there need to be any servicing required there, that makes life very, very easy. We've got a dinette here, which thanks to the electric table can convert to another double bed. There's also plenty of storage here, which I'll talk about in a moment. And of course, to the galley. Now, I think this galley is amazingly functional. For something this size, you've got great storage and it's very, very practically laid out. To begin with, obviously, there's some drawers here, your twin cooktop, some bench space that leads down to the freezer, and a handy toaster oven, which is pretty great if you want to do pizzas or any actual cooking. You've got that toaster oven there. You've got twin drawer fridges, plenty of space in those for drinks and food for a week. And in the cupboards here, these are surprisingly deep. So you can hold a lot of food into those two cupboards there. And then of course, plates, glassware, etc., are all up here. You can see the favorite coffee machine there. So it's been a really useful galley. And if you are actually cooking, there is conveniently located a hatch and a window, which helps with some ventilation. And behind me here, the second television. As we move through to the master, have a look at the floor there. You'll see two more large hatches that go through to some great storage space. And at the foot of the master, four big drawers, a nice longer locker onto the starboard side, sorry, port side, the other starboard. And the bed is a really good size bed too. It's a little unusually shaped, but that does allow for nice, easy access up to and into that bed. Of course, all the windows have blinds. The port lights all have blinds on them, so you can darken this down. There's more storage here. And I love on the MJMs the way they separate out the shower. So you've got a separate freestanding shower there. And of course, hatches for ventilation, very important. And over the other side, you've got your toilet and vanity area. So again, great storage in behind there. There's another storage cupboard here, a second mirror. So that makes it a really functional area. And you can actually also use this as a shower if you wanted to. This tap. So you could have two showers if you've got a boatload of people. So I'm down on the floor here with you now for good reason. I love storage. I love making sure that every boat I look through has good storage because it's really important when you're cruising to be able to carry the things that you want and need while you're out on a cruise. So this area of the boat, you'll see on the aft facing seat in the dinette, there is a drawer on the outside there. And that's a nice deep drawer. It's got good storage in that. There is also another locker for items that you don't need every day in on the outs outer side of that. Under this seat here, there is a lift up hatch. There we go, just like that. And that entire seat is storage. So that for me, when we've been cruising, has often been where I've kept my clothes for the week. And there is a load of storage in there. There is also a nice little solid wood pocket on the side of the boat here. Great spot for log books or charts. And of course, a shelf on the outer side there as well, which is where the playing cards always are on Ohana. And there's probably a few random dollar bills floating around up there too. Behind me here, 
there's a hatch in under this step, but this houses the hose for the built-in vacuum system. So that hose is long enough to reach from the bow, well, from the interior of the bow all the way out to the aft cockpit of the boat, and it makes cleaning up a breeze. It's a plug and play system down here, so it makes looking after the boat while you're out cruising around really, really simple. There is also a trash can in this cupboard here and a really neat little flat that gives you access into that. So as you're coming and going here, if you want to get rid of a drink or something else, boom, nice, easy access. So I hope you've enjoyed the walkthrough of this MJM 43Z. As I said, it's a boat that I've always been in love with and I'm super lucky to have spent so much time on board Ohana. It's literally a case of having had one careful lady owner, although she has definitely driven her further than just to church on Sundays. We have done some great trips on this boat and she will be sorely missed. So I hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe. And for any information about this particular boat or others, talk to me via the links below.